First at four o'clock, a priest at a Lincoln Park church is forced to step aside. And Erica, a source of yours contacted you about these allegations That's of abuse. That's right. Multiple sources did. The accusations involved children attending a retreat last month. We've been working on the story, our team here all day. And now investigator Megan Hickey joins us with what we found. Megan. Right, Jim and Erica. It involves an associate pastor who was assigned to St. Josephat Parish in Lincoln Park. We've confirmed that the school met with a group of parents on Thursday about an eighth grade confirmation retreat that took place in Lake Geneva two weeks ago. That's where parents shared that multiple students said they were asked inappropriate sexual questions during that two day overnight retreat. The Illinois Department of Children and Family Services confirmed to us they've launched an investigation and that investigation is also looking into the fact that several students later reported that they were also touched inappropriately by the priest. According to a letter sent to parishioners at St. Josephat from the Archdiocese of Chicago, DCFS has opened an investigation into allegations they described as child exploitation and child molestation that took place during a public penance or confession service. They involved this man, Father Martin Nyberg. According to the parish's website, 28-year-old Nyberg was assigned to St. Josephat on July 1st. Father Nyberg is on the left in this photo, along with Cardinal Blaise Supich at an ordination ceremony in May. According to a second letter sent to parishioners at St. Paul of the Cross Parish in Park Ridge, Father Nyberg served as a deacon there from June 1st to May 17th of this year. Cardinal Supich wrote to parishioners that Nyberg, quote, strenuously denies the allegations. He said they reported the allegations and offered assistance to the accusers. Father Nyberg was asked to step aside from ministry until the investigation is complete. An independent review board will then present recommendations to Cardinal Supich. We've also obtained a list of some of those inappropriate questions from that retreat. We'll share more about that coming up at five when we asked for an interview. The Archdiocese of Chicago said they wouldn't be commenting beyond those letters. A spokesperson said, said they will inform us of the outcome of the investigation once it's complete. Jim and Erica. Megan, thanks so much.